Hey, what's up everybody? Haven't seen you guys in a while. Well, I'm about to be making a video about my Tesla. Alright, so, this is what I've been up to. I got myself a brand new 2022 Tesla Model 3. I had a Crown Vic, sold it, and now I got the Tesla. Like I said, it's a 2022 Model 3 long range. A little bit over 50,000, right around 50,000. But so far, so good. It's white. I have the aero cap wheels. I didn't update the wheels because I thought the wheels were just fine how they were. But I, uh, yeah, I've moved on to electric. I already got the front tint done on it, or the rear tint, sorry. Uh, did a little bit of accessories, which I'll make another video on later on in the video, or later on on the channel, because now I'm going to be a little bit more active on here. But, uh, yeah, 2022 Model 3. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So this Tesla is the Model 3 Long Range. It gets approximately 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds. Which is pretty damn quick. There's a software upgrade that you can spend $2,000 called Acceleration Boost. And I'll get you down to 3.7, but honestly, 4.2 is fast enough. It comes with the new projector headlights, which you might be able to see on the end right over here. But the new projectors. No grill. I didn't put the front plate on it because I didn't really want the front plate. It has fog lights. The mirrors fold in. And it's got the hubcaps with the all-season tires. Uh, I got it in the white color because any of the other colors, they cost money. And I didn't really want to spend any money. So this color is just a plain white color. But it's got multi-coat, so, which is why I got it. Because I hear the Tesla paint really isn't that great. But uh, yeah, I got it for that reason. Just because I heard the paint wasn't great. Um, I got the stock wheels on it. They're 18 inch aero wheels, and which gives me the full range of 358 miles from zero to hundred. Uh, instead of the sport wheels, which are, would have dropped my range down to like 330 and also would have been a lot more money, like another 1500 bucks. I did tint the backs as you can see. It's pretty dark. I got 5% tint in the back. The fronts didn't do anything and the whole back window I did in uh, the 5% tint as well. The interior is a black interior. Let me open the door for you to show you. So the interior is just black. The car thinks a minute. <laughs> but the interior is black and uh, I could have got the white but I didn't because it would have been another like $1,500. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about the Model 3, let's close the door. Uh, I did not get the full self-driving system for it. I don't think I need it. So I just have the regular autopilot that comes with it, which is just as good as full self-driving. It just doesn't make turns for me and stuff like that. So a couple features of the car is that they do have the aero covers. The aero covers give you more range so that you can drive further and uh they come off they're just hubcaps they come off and there's actually rims underneath them which i'm not gonna do i did put those mud flaps on again i did put the mud flaps on on this side as well there's eight cameras on the car this is a camera there's three in the front on the dash there's two on the sides here in the pillars as you can see and then there's one in the back by the license plate. This model, the new models after 2021 have come with the blacked out trim. So I'll show you on the lighted up side or the light side with the sun. All the trim and the handles are all black. So they, uh, they don't come chrome anymore, which is nice. I didn't want the chrome. I would have deleted it anyway. And uh, like I said, they do have the new headlights. I did get the black interior. The screen, 15 inch screen. The trunk is automatic. So you just push the button back here. Opens the trunk right up. 
It's where I keep my charger for when I have to charge. I just unplug it and put the charger in. These are all LED tail lights, both sides. And then to close the trunk, you just hit this button here and it closes the trunk. Then in order to open the front trunk, which I'll show you now, you just go inside the car. It'll show a picture of your car on the screen. And you just hit here, it says frunk open. Just click that and it opens the frunk. Unfortunately, the frunk is not automatic. It's manual, but it's not bad. It has enough room to store things. And I mean, this is my hand. You can see, pretty good storage up here. And then to close it, it's just like a car, just go down a little bit light. Once you get it down and it's locked, just push down and it's closed. The interior is all black seats. Same with the rear, and they're all heated seats too, which is awesome. So this is the back door. And you can see it's all... I think the video died before, but this is the back seats here. Just your standard three seats. They're all heated. And they have two USB-C sticks up here. It's kind of hard to see here, but there's two USB sticks there. Uh, the car does have a lot of storage. I didn't close that. This is how you open the door, by the way. You just push the back, and then you can open the door. I open it up front. It does have a lot of storage. This is a storage area. And then this, I bought separately, but it does come out. And then you got all that storage down there. Put that back in. And then in order to close this, you just push this up. Closes on its own. You got this storage unit here. Take it up. You can see it goes all the way down there. Pretty deep as well. And then you also have this storage up here too. Where it goes up and down. This is the screen. I'll show you a little bit of the inside, but first check out this B-roll from the outside. Alright, so now that we're in the car, this is where everything is done from. Everything is done from the center screen. So if you want to open the trunk, if you want to open your charge port, if you want to open the front trunk, all your GPS and uh, so forth is on there, your music, uh, your consumption rate, so what you're driving at, how fast you're driving, how much miles you'll get to the end of your charge, your battery life up here, it pulls up your charging information. Uh, all your controls, such as your lights, your sentry mode, your recordings, uh, your pedal if you want to go fast, slow, if you want to, the brakes and stuff, your autopilot settings. Everything is pretty much done through this screen here. So, if you ever want to do anything as far as the screen goes, all your updates come through here, all your settings come through here. There's really no buttons on the car. The only buttons that the car has is the hazard button which can be found up here up top. And then also these uh, Bluetooth buttons for the steering wheels, which this one does your Bluetooth and it also sets your car lengths for the autopilot. This one does your volume and it also changes the songs. This is your drive park neutral uh, stick and reverse. And those are your blinkers and everything. And then there is uh, a camera that also pops up for the blinkers if you wanted to look at your cameras while you're in the car you could also do this and it'll pop up all your cameras around you yeah and then the windows are here and the door for the door you just push this button and it pops open the door and you can close it 
all the roof the roof is all glass as you can see so they say the roof is super safe it'll actually hold you know more than uh like three teslas on top of it at a time so i thought that was pretty reassuring and then uh yeah that's pretty much it uh, i just wanted to show you a little bit about the car i'll be making another video about the accessories you can get for the car and also uh, more videos just on the car in general. I'll, sh I'll show you tips and tricks about the car. I'll also show you how to really operate the car and how to do different functions in the car, how the UI works and things like that. And uh, just share my overall experience about the car. So far, I will say that I have spent zero dollars on maintaining this car. I have spent zero dollars on doing anything and I already have 2,000 miles in the car. Uh, if you like this video, if you have any questions about the Tesla, be sure to let me know in the comments below so that I can answer them and also make a video about them because I would like to start making more videos here on YouTube since I do have this channel. I still have the motorcycle if you guys are here for the motorcycling videos. I still have my Yamaha FZ6, however, I do not ride it that much anymore, but I still do have the GoPro on the helmet, and I will let you know once summer comes around that I'll be on the bike, and I could do some more moto vlogs if that's what you want to see. But if you want to see this Tesla content, please make sure to comment down below on what you want to see. Uh, leave me a like, subscribe, comment, etc. And just let me know how this video went. I haven't been on here in a while, and I'd really like to get some feedback on it. So, you guys enjoy the rest of your day, night, wherever you're at. And thanks.